Hello everybody, I have another video for you today. I get so many questions on where my jewelry is from, so I figured why not make a video about it. Today, I'm gonna show you all my everyday jewelry pieces and kind of just some of my staples or just overall favorite places to buy jewelry and favorite pieces of jewelry. So let's get into it. Let's start with my rings. I never really change my rings unless I get a new one these sort of stay the same. On my right hand, I have my two Cartier rings. I stack the nail with the love ring and I love how timeless it looks. I used to have them spread out between the middle and the ring finger. And one day I randomly just put them both on my ring finger and they've lived on the same finger ever since. I'm hoping to one day get the two to match this to add in here. That day is gonna have to be a little down the road, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Going into my left hand, my aura ring on my index finger. I love this ring. I see so many people on social either loving the ring or hating the ring. I love the ring. Every morning I wake up, I check my sleep, I check my heart rate. I'm just very interested in the whole thing. Next to my aura ring, I have my most complimented piece of jewelry ever is this initial ring. Everybody always asks me where it's from and I feel like such a gatekeeper, but I'm not. I got this ring at an estate sale in the Hamptons in like 2019. It was some older lady had passed away and they had all her stuff out for sale. There were other girls trying the ring and it just wasn't fitting them. And I was like, yeah, whatever, let me try it. Like, what's the hype about? I put it on, it fit me perfectly. So I knew it had to come home with me and it's been on this finger ever since. Next up above that ring is just a basic dome ring. I got this one from Majuri. I absolutely love their jewelry. The prices are so good and the pieces have such good quality. Let's do the ears, shall we? <laughs> I got these gold cuffs on Amazon and I love that you don't need a piercing for them. This little diamond stud I got from Mason Miro. I love their flatbacks. Under the stud, I have this little pink diamond huggy, and I love how tight it actually is to my ear. It's not like going around the ear so much that it's like not hugging the ear in a sense, but I got that one from the last line LA. I'm wearing these bigger huggies today in my first haul. These are from House of Harlow. I'm gonna be honest, I find them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I think, but I love their jewelry. It never tarnishes for me, and I just get so many hoops from them. Moving on to the other ear. This one's very simple. I have this little heart flat back from Iris Tattoo in Miami. I get my piercings done there, my tattoos there. So I found this little stud when I was getting one of my tattoos a few weeks ago and I was like, that's perfect. It's coming home with me. I also got this little hoop from there just when I got it pierced. We have the second stud to match the Mason Miro from the other side and the same house of Harlow hoops. That being said, I am the biggest flat back stan I think that has ever walked the planet. I didn't know they existed. I didn't know how to get them in my ear. And then one day I randomly found a website, Chords Club. I'm gonna put them right here. I love their flat backs. So simple, you can get an applicator. I just love them. I mix and match, I buy so many different ones and I can just bedazzle my ears if I wanted to with them. If you've never worn flatbacks, I highly recommend them. Moving on to my necklace. This necklace is from Alexa Lee. I recently got this necklace a few weeks ago and I am obsessed with it. This is my charm necklace. I have been wearing it every single day since I got it. I was able to customize it, so I just put a few things that I absolutely love on there. This necklace really shows my personality within charms. I think that's the coolest part about charm necklace and bracelets is that you can customize it and make it feel like you. I take so much pride in this bracelet stack, it's actually insane. I take pictures of my hands all the time because I love my jewelry. Starting off strong, I have this stretchy Western belt buckle with a little dancing diamond on the inside. I got this bracelet from Effie Jewelry on Icon of the Seas. It's like a little memento for me. I was like practically living on the ship for months, so it was a little spontaneous purchase the last night on the ship. Next up, I have these three. The bigger one has my initials on it in diamonds, which I adore. These three are also from Alexa Lee. I love these jewels. I have had the smaller beads since I graduated high school. I have never taken them off. I shower in them, I sleep in them, I swim in the ocean in them. 
I go surfing in them like they don't leave my wrist but they've never tarnished so I highly recommend these I got them in a three pack I recently added the initials one to my stack and I'm so obsessed with it next up is this heart cuff I got a few years ago from Ariel Gordon jewelry I got it actually on a 4th of July sale so I got a really good deal on this next up is one of these permanent bracelets it's just a simple mariner's chain i got it matching with my mom a few years ago so that one is a very special piece for me last but not least is this charm bracelet i got this from sydney evans i love the back it says a token of love luck and protection i loved the chain on this i thought it was so different for a charm bracelet to have this rounded I got this one for my parents for Christmas last year. It's so special too, and it just has the little token of love, luck, and protection. So I feel like they're always loving on me, wishing me luck, and protecting me, even from afar. That's my bracelet stack. So that is my everyday jewelry as a whole with my necklace, my earrings, my rings, and my bracelets. I absolutely love these pieces. I'm a jewelry collector forever. It takes like this little... I have like two angels on my shoulder. One's like, just buy all the jewelry now, buy it now, you want it, buy it now. And the other one's like, you have your entire life to build a perfect stack, please don't worry about it right now. And they just fight with each other in my ear. Thank you guys so much for watching. Those are my favorite jewelry pieces as well as my everyday jewelry pieces. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was super fun to make. I love talking about jewelry, so that was right up my alley. Stay tuned. I'm on my YouTube grind. I will have more videos coming out. Okay, love ya. Bye.